day four. Got a little no huddle offense in today, and uh, just trying to get a sense of lining up against fast pa pace and quick tempo, and try to get the calls in as fast as we can. Not a bad first look at that, but you know, obviously a long way away. But, uh, pretty good, pretty good work. Early on there, and those 11 11s, you, you mixed in some some three four. You just trying to get a little look at that. Three four front. Yeah, yeah. defense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. This, this was the day for installation of the our, uh, odd front and uh, see who can play at that jack linebacker and see who emerges at that position. Do you like maybe Jules Williams there yeah, a little bit? No, he's, he's getting he's, a chance. Yeah, he's going to have a chance because he can rush the pass. And, uh, he's, a, he's a big athlete who can run and uh, can play in space, so he's got a chance. He uses a lot of freshmen first four days. Is it just more to see what they can do or... Is that part of the? You, know, you feel like you got a plan for them right now? Well, we're trying to find out if they're part of the plan. Um, you know, especially those wideouts. We're playing two young freshmen wideouts, and I tell you, the guy that showed up for me today was Evan Panther, off the edge a couple times. I think he's got a chance. You know, maybe you know he's got to keep growing up, but he's going to have a chance. Is there room for one or more of those running backs to play freshman running back? Uh, it's still too early to tell. I mean, at that position, you always go through a lot of bodies in this conference. Uh, but we got to have a couple of them step up a little bit better than where they are right now. How do you think the wide receivers did today in the in the eleven on eleven? And in the team periods mm -hmm. or in the perimeter? Well, both, I guess. Um, I thought they were a little bit better in perimeter than they were in team. But uh, let me look at this the film before I put that in stone. But um, they're getting better. They're, there's no question. They're, they're playing faster. They're playing a little bit harder. They got a better understanding. It's we're night and day from where we were uh, back in the spring to the tournament. In terms of understanding, do you know what happened to Ryan Isaac? He, he got a red jersey on there. Yeah, late. his shoulder just got a little bit tired. Uh, he's not hurt, um, but he got a little bit tired. So uh, we, we just rested him there. How much tackling will you do tomorrow? Um, a good amount. Yeah, we'll, we'll have um, we'll have a, a Steeler drill, and then we'll have uh, some one-on-one -on -one open field tackling. We'll go a couple of sessions live for our uh, team periods. This you, was the. You get a sense these guys really want to tackle. Because I hope there, they there, want to tackle. There I hope some, they always want to tackle. <laughs> there was some, uh, you know, a couple of exchanges yeah. there where guys were yeah, a little fight No, yeah. we got to be smart when we're not tackling, making sure we stay on our feet. But I hope they want to tackle. This was the second consecutive day Rob had the number one snaps. Should we read anything into that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> what do you foresee where he most would troll? Um, st still too early to say. He's probably a guy that's been using some reverses and speed sweeps and play him in the slot a little bit, but uh, he still has to do a little bit better. How would you rate your special teams at this point in time, your kickoff and punts and field goals? And... Well, the, today was our first day of using the kick team. Uh, I think our punt protection has been <clears throat> better than adequate. I think our punter is uh, somewhat consistent, needs to be a little bit more consistent. we got to be better at making field goals. You, know, you talked about the kind of the language that quarterbacks need to deal with. How do you describe what a challenge is? Remembering everything with reads, the emotions, who needs to be aware, all that they have to handle. With each other. You know, after you know, we put we're going to install for the first three practices. After practice eight, it'll all slow down. So I'm not going to say that. As far as last play in the world goes <laughs> uh, for all three units, what, did you did you like what you saw from the defense? Seemed like the defense won those. They yeah, did win those. Um, and that's hard, you know, that's a lot of pressure on both teams. And we're going to be in those situations. We've got to be able to handle those situations. We try to put them in game-like experiences and see who, who flourishes. Have you always used that phrase, last play in the world? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how, was, uh, how has Danny Anthrop impressed you, and uh, what do you think of a young guy like Bilal Marshall? Uh, Bilal's been hurt a little bit, so uh, it would be nice to get him back. But Danny Anthrop, I think, has had a, a good four days. Uh, he's very fast. You know, again, him not practicing in the spring hurts him a little bit knowledge-wise, but he's catching up pretty quick. What about Monterosa? You like what you're seeing out of Yeah, no, I think he's going to be a good player. He, he just, he's a football junkie. He's always up there. And he's got a good feel of what's happening around him. What kind of role can a guy like Brandon Cotton play on this team? Uh, Brandon's got a, going to have a big role for us. He's a 268 pound fullback, and uh, he's got to be a physical presence for us as a fullback, as a backside tight end as well. For not getting to see Danny in the spring, do you, I mean, are you pretty impressed with the level of play that he's had so far? Yeah, he, he's done a nice job. And I, it's very important to him. He's always talking about his assignments. 
and he want, he's, he's hungry to play and, and be successful. And Delapo obviously seems like the leader of the wide receiver group. Yeah, he is, and uh, you know his knee is slowing him down a little bit, but uh, I expect that he'll get back to the quicker.